Hey everyone, what's happening? Welcome to this week's episode of Press Start TV. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to be talking to you today about some news, just random game news of games that you're looking forward to. Also some free games for the month of March from Sony and Microsoft as well as eSports. Yes. Uh, yeah, so I'm definitely excited about that. My name is Will. This is Mr. Nine with you. us as always and Dr. Joey G. Joey, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me on. All right, excellent. Uh, so let's get into this. Talk about uh, Mass Effect. You Mass Effect fans out there, Andromeda has been delayed to 2017. Sorry. No, no surprise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's an E3 announcement. I'm not shocked at all that it's been delayed. And that was announced last year. Last year. Yeah. Last summer at their press conference. Yep. So. So yeah, I mean, 2017. I mean, will we see it in 2017? I guess is the question. I, I would say so. Yeah. Bioware. Yeah, Bioware is not really doing anything else right now. So some of the fans still jaded on the still ending of the mm -hmm. on some of the Star Wars, Old Republic stuff. But Bioware. Yeah. yeah. Bioware. But. Well, I'm sure fans are looking for the a next installment of Mass Effect. So oh yeah. We'll play it. Even though the ending of the third one was not well, it's a whole new story. So yeah, I yeah. don't have to yeah. worry about Shepard and all that nonsense going on there. Uh, Star Fox, Star Fox Zero is launching with something called Star Fox Guard. So, a little while back uh, on uh, Nintendo's PR company, kind of not to let us view this game. It's kind of like a how would you describe it, Nan? Uh It's like a tower defense, but more like. A smaller area. You use security cameras pretty much to defend robots from getting your base. So yeah, as long okay. as you check on them and you, yeah, it's kind of like a strategy type reflex type. Yeah. Thing. The person using the gamepad has like a you know CCTV monitor in front of them, and it's got all the different <laughs> cameras, and you got people shouting what camera to go to next because there's robots coming in this way and robots coming in this way, and they've got little missiles. It's just chaos. Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool stuff. So, uh, you know, I, I would say that we, we looked at that a long time ago, and I think we called that because it, it was a uh, <laughs> gauge, just like that, that's Star Fox. Yeah, yeah. Like, saw, that's saw the a logo. Good catch. Um, <laughs> so we, we have that, that foresight. <laughs> you do. Stuff. You're ahead of the curve. That's oh, right. <laughs> We're on it. But that is packaged with your Star Fox game, so I'm sure that's going to be a uh, an amazing game. Um, Dead Island Collection coming to PS4 and Xbox One. Dead Island, for those of you who haven't played it, has two installments, right? Two yeah, installments. Dead mm -hmm. Island and Dead Island Riptide. Riptide, that's right. And then uh, eventually, hopefully, maybe, Dead Island 2. I don't know. I think we'll see Dying Light 2 before we see Dying <laughs> Dead Island 2. It's possible. Because Dying yeah. Light's doing really well. But I gotta say, I love that trailer for Dead Island 2 and Dead Island. Both of those yeah. trailers are awesome. <laughs> really, really good. <laughs> um, and then Uncharted, of course, has been pushed back for to May 10th. So that came uh, from Sony. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, told Naughty Dog that we want to make sure everybody gets it. Globally, right. we have a very smooth launch and everyone's happy. Uh, so I can appreciate that. I mean, yeah, if it, if it makes it smooth, why not? Yeah. Uh, by the way, you're watching and listening to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is Nine. Yep. This is Dr. Joey G. You. And we're going to be uh, continue to talk about some news. So, Nine, let's talk about a game that you're super mm -hmm. excited about. I bet I know a game. He's salivating already. <laughs> it's not Dark Souls this time. So. <laughs> uh, no Man's Sky. Um, yes. Its release date is June 21st. Uh, I think, I don't... It's perfect. It, it, That's it's the perfect release date. I don't know if this is on everyone's radar, but it should be. It's really yeah. a cool looking thing, man. I mean, I, I just you know, hope it delivers. I'm glad you said that because I talk to a lot of people and I'm like, they're like, well, what games are you looking forward to this year? I'm like, No Man's Sky. They're like, what's No Man's Sky? Right. I'm like, are you living under yeah. a rock? Because it's only like the most ambitious game known to man right now. They're it, building essentially a universe. <laughs> it is, but I, I think it's flown under the radar. For what it is, for, for some people, for people who don't have an X, uh, a PS4, right. it's definitely not on their radar because right. they don't have a PS4, so they're like, whatever, it's just a space game. And I'm like, no, no, <laughs> this is not just a space game. This is the space game to end all space games. And uh, I was reading in, uh, some more news on this, and like apparently the, <coughs> there there is so each of these star-looking things are all planets that you can go visit. And oh everything. yeah. And something like each one has like its own kind of alien race or ecosystem. I don't know if, ecosystem, it's, yeah. if it's each race is in each planet, but there's 
a bunch of alien races, all with their own language, and you mm -hmm. have to learn them yeah. in order for you to be able to, to understand them. <laughs> it's nuts. It is absolutely God. nuts. Yeah, this so is we're like, complaining about okay. Fallout 4 earlier. This is exactly what oh. the Star Trek games should have been <laughs> and failed to do. And No Man's Sky, a team of 13 people, are achieving this. Yeah, Star Trek would be a good... Yeah, I could see mm -hmm. that. For because sure. that's what Star Trek was, space exploration. Right. Like, if you ever watch the show and know anything about Star Trek, it's all about space exploration. The action movies are just there to get new people interested. I mean, what is the... I, I know you're excited about this game. Oh, God, you had I can't to pick wait for this game. The number one thing that intrigues <laughs> you the most, what would it be about this game that, that the, really grips you? The space exploration. Yeah. Like, just exploring the unknown. Yeah. The unknown. Like, it's just going where no man has gone before. Literally. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> literally <laughs> Star Trek. I, I watched Star Trek with my mom as a kid, so I'm sure. a huge space exploration fan. I mean, and, and even in the demos that they show off, they're like, you know, there are going to be places that no one will ever visit. Oh, yeah. Right. It's kind of... 18 crazy. quintillion planets. 18 quintillion. In that regard. Yeah, there were places that people don't get to. One second on every single planet, it would take you 500 years to yeah. do it. And, and <laughs> you think cannot about do it. It's impossible. All the gamers logging in the hours, all these people playing the games, and still. Something will be left unsearched. That's, that's, Always, that's crazy. Crazy. Oh, yeah. A new language out there that nobody will ever hear. Yeah. <laughs> and it'll be Klingon. I don't have it'll to learn be it. Klingon. You don't have to do that one. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, there are two different versions of the game coming, or three different versions of the game yeah. coming out. The actual game, it will be digital and retail. Mm -hmm. um, so $60 for your regular copy. Then there's a, an $80 version, I think. So, I think it's $70. $70. $69.99. You get the edition. art book, the special cover art box, the soundtrack. A digital soundtrack. And then the $150 mm -hmm. edition yeah, yeah, the with even one. more stuff, the ship and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, when we get back, we're going to be talking about free games for March right after this. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, so now we're going to talk about free games of March for right. Sony and Microsoft. If you've got Xbox Live or PS Plus, uh, feel free to go get these games <coughs> that are free. Uh, I'll start off with 360. Uh, this month we'll be getting Supreme Commander 2, which I believe is an RTS. I believe it is an RTS, mm -hmm. which is why I don't know anything about it. <laughs> You're not an RTS guy? I'm not an RTS fan. There's one type of game in the world that I cannot play, and it's RTSs. Well, it does require a lot of thought. And well, it takes yeah. patience. Like it takes <laughs> a certain patience. kind of person. That can be. <laughs> I see what you're Touché. doing. Touche. No, no, no. Your, your response was yeah. no, no, no. Your response was <laughs> <is> great. <laughs> It takes uh, patience, and I don't have patience, sure, although I sure. do play the Souls games, which dictate patience, so... I, patience in, the, in that format, maybe, in that Or sense. maybe I'm just a relentless, stupid idiot that just no. keeps barreling into the <laughs> You same play any RTS games anymore. at all, Joe? Uh, Command and Conquerors are the last kind it's of... very similar to yeah, that, I think. Th those are the ones I, I, I played and grew up on, World of right. Warcraft 2 and, and, and those kind of things. I haven't played in a long time, because I don't see many of them anymore. Yeah. You don't yeah. see a whole lot of them, because it's, it's, it's a niche crowd. And Halo ventured that way. Yeah, with Halo, Halo uh, Wars. Halo, Halo Wars. Wars. And yeah. I just, They're doing a Halo Wars too, actually. Yeah, really. I, I just yep. I couldn't get into Halo Wars. I love Halo, but Halo Wars just couldn't get into it. Yeah. It's, well, it's if game. you want to try an RTS <laughs> game and you have a 360, it's free. Go get it. There you go. Uh, also, Borderlands. Uh, if awesome. you haven't played that, uh, just if you haven't played that, where have you been since 2009? Okay, so you know, <laughs> and it's, it's free. No it's, reason not to play it. It's exactly. free. Um, just an amazing game. It's uh, one of the best shooters. Yeah, I have to agree. Hands down. Yeah. The writing, the guns. The guns. The, the, the guns. I, I like, like the, the animation. The, it's just so, <laughs> Borderlands 2, I mean, ugh. Anyway. Uh, for your PS3, you get The Last Guy. Which is a fun, it's pretty fun, fun zombie apocalypse survival game. Yeah. It's hard. More it's zombies. It's very hard. More zombies. It's kind of like an over-the-top <laughs> view, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, yeah. it's a, it's a top-down view, and you're one guy trying to avoid hordes and hordes of zombies. <laughs> Um, and then Super Stardust HD, uh, great, great game. game. Yeah, another another free title. So uh, some good options. There. I believe that's along the same lines as like Resogun. Yeah. And Geometry Wars, those kind of games. Geometry Wars is fun. Geometry mm. Wars is a lot of fun. Um, for your Xbox One, you will be getting Lords of the Fallen. Awesome title. Now, now you played that. I have played it, and I'm gonna continue playing it now that I'm done with Bloodborne. <laughs> So what do you think? Yeah, you finally uh, got I, to get sidetracked I've seen side all three here. endings of Bloodborne. That's why it took me so long. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I've seen all three endings. I like the ending where you just submit yourself. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's probably the most 
interesting okay. the endings. You'll have to tell me about that because the one I got the true ending. There's three. I've, I, that's the one I wanted to finish on. Like when I got my platinum trophy, that's mm -hmm. the one I wanted to finish on. That's why I took so long. Right. Um, but the Chalice Dungeons is no joke. Oh, they're they're tough. Uh, they're pretty that, brutal. Of my seventy some hours in the one character, about fifty of that was in the Chalice Dungeons. Yeah. And those bosses are harder than the game bosses. Yeah. Sure. Uh, by the way, you're watching and listening to Press Start TV. We're talking about your free games of March for Sony and Microsoft. Um, so yeah, the um, what was it? Lords of the Fallen. Lords of the Fallen. Similar to the Souls games. Um, yeah. Uh, that's free on your Xbox One this month, along with Sherlock Holmes: Crime and Punishment. Very slow. I have not played that game. It is very, very slow. My friend downloaded it, and he says he's a huge Sherlock Holmes fan. That's why he downloaded it, and he says I've not found like maybe two clues on the first mission <laughs> and I still have not unlocked a single achievement for this game because it's taken him hours to solve the first crime. Wow. It's very Sherlock Holmes. Well, I mean, very that's kind of what you know. Have to yeah. know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. I mean, if, <laughs> you're, if it's got Sherlock Holmes in it, don't just expect to like pick up two things and be done. This isn't Batman. <laughs> right. This is... <laughs> Um, on your PS4, you'll be getting Broforce. Oh, it's so much fun. You got it. It's a great I name. It. It's I don't know what is this. <laughs> so, I like what Sony's doing with their Vote to Play. Vote thing. to Play is a very cool thing. They don't do it often, mm. but they do it when they have games that people are fighting over. Yeah. Hmm. Like Broforce and some of the, the other two. I Android remember. Assault Cactus. Yeah. By the way, we're putting up new reviews on the Press Start TV website. Boom. And Android Assault Cactus is one of the first ones you'll be seeing, so check that out. Um, <laughs> anyway, just wanted to throw that out there. Yeah, it's good. Um, oh, yeah. A ton of fun. But yeah, Broforce, so what they do is they put up like three games for you to choose from, and whoever gets the most votes, that's the free game that you get to, to download. It's and then great. they discount the other two games for sale for PS Plus. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's great. It's very yeah, cool because get it gets vote. the community involved. Perfect. Exactly. Yeah, why not? Yeah. It's like an all-star game in sports. And, and exactly. I think it, yeah. you know, I think it really helped games like Rocket League. Hmm. When they when they first came out, it was like just a, a game that was released. It's like, eh, whatever. It was a free game. Everybody got it. And then fast forward to current day, it's evolved into this huge Rocket League has taken off. Sports Rocket League game has sparked off. a movement like none other. Yeah. Now you're getting uh, we're going to be talking about this in the next segment when you're getting into esports. Mm -hmm. uh, Rocket League is already in talks with that. I mean, they've launched on the Xbox mm -hmm. 1. Right. Now they're getting a digital or a physical release copy of the game. Which is awesome. So, but here's a situation where they released a free version of the game. And now they've amassed this legion of fans, and then now look what it's blossomed into. So it's pretty, oh, yeah. pretty cool thing. It's like free samples at Costco. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. you, get that, you get that free hot dog weenie, and you're just like, yeah. mm, I want the whole box. <laughs> yeah, and you, and you pick it up, and the lady that's giving you, she's like, thank you. You know, it's yeah. just so awesome. <laughs> uh, you'll also be getting Galaxy. Nine, what do you know about that game? I don't it's know not much. what I thought it was. Okay. I thought it was like a side-scrolling shooter, like... Um, what is it? R type and yeah, and but it's not. It's not. Oh, okay. It's something totally different. That's my knowledge. Of that. <laughs> so Galaxy, you get free on your PS4, and we can't tell you too much about it because we just don't know. But yeah, Bro Force is cool. Uh, definitely check that Bro out. Force is fun. Hmm. Lords of the Fallen, a lot of gameplay there if you want to do that. I mean, uh, some good options. But you know, again, Xbox Live. If you got Xbox Live, if you got PS Plus, these are all free games. So I'll go over one more time. On the 360, you get Supreme Commander 2. Um, Borderlands. Uh, and Borderlands. On the PS3, you get The Last Guy and Super Stardust HD. On Xbox One, you get The Lords of the Fallen and Crime and Punishment, Sherlock Holmes. And then also on PS4, you get Broforce and Galaxy. a mystery game <laughs> called Galaxy. All right, when we get back, we're going to be talking about eSports. Uh, can't wait to get into this. It's going to be a lot of fun right after this. Hey, hey, everybody, welcome back. Uh, we just got to talk about your free games of March. And now let's get into some eSports. Um, eSports is just a surging uh, platform. I mean, every, uh, games are being developed specifically for competitive gaming. Uh, it's, it's just on the rise. More and more people are not only playing it, but watching, watching it. it. Uh, you know who you are. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Like this guy. yeah, we all know who we are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's just a crazy, crazy thing. And um, so let's talk about is, is it here to stay? Some of the games that um, you know we wanted to bring up was uh, Smite coming over to PS4. Mm -hmm. um, 
that was a huge success, uh, yep. and it continues to be a good success. And Paragon, which is kind of like Overwatch. Well, uh, but let's talk about these games first, and then we'll go into esports in general. Um, go ahead. You're saying a lot of people watch it? Yeah, uh, sure. I was watching, <laughs> I, I, I was on Twitch the other night. I just put it on in the background. And I just wanted something that I could just listen to and I didn't have yeah. to pay attention to, so I put the Smite. Um, <laughs> tournament that was going on over the weekend, 264,000 people on Twitch watching this. Right. That's just Twitch. And then you got places like Ustream and right. Hitbox and um, Discord, all these other players, places where you can watch this stuff. There's got to be at least two and a half, three million people watching this stuff. Right. And it's worldwide. And that's worldwide. It's worldwide. That's ridiculous. Yeah. This yeah. is a massive massive thing right now. So when you think about a game like Smite, you just we just mentioned, I mean, it's like might not be on a lot of people's radar because it's not like a triple A title right. or it's not a big right. console. But trust us, there there are Smite is moving along though. Smite, Smite is, really is taking making a name yeah. for yeah. itself. Um, one, one of my friends that was playing the other day and we were I think we were playing Destiny and he was we were in the middle doing stuff and he goes, by the way, Smite is life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay. All right, cool. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Why not? I'm hoping I get into the beta for that so, on PS4. Joey, have you seen a lot of people interested in that game in particular? Or? Smite, you know, and, and you know, working on a college campus, there are some students that like this game, um, but most of the students on campus are still into the, the sports games. Sure. They're not into the, 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 the MOBAs, MOBAs or yeah. the, any of these kind of things. Um, so, it, you know, it's maybe picking up some steam with, with some people, but it's not resonating a lot with students. Where I see Smite is that it's so unique from a, a, an eSports perspective where it's not the, the top-down kind of overhead version you see in League of Legends or in Dota 2, those right. kind of things. Um, and so it's really, it's an interesting perspective. Sure. You know, I like it. I think it's really neat uh, to watch. Um, and I haven't played a lot of Smite, and uh, I've played more League of Legends than I have Smite, yeah. but it, it, I do like the different perspective. And I think it is growing, you know, moving sure. from, moving to the PS4 now, I think it's huge. Yeah. I think that's yeah. just a testament to how big it's actually getting. So that's just one example. Uh, also, Paragon, uh, coming out March 18th, I believe, by the, the way. Closed beta starts. Of the beta right. starts, I'm sorry. Uh, what do you know about this game? Uh, it, it's Epic's version of Overwatch, is how I explain it to people. Awesome game. <laughs> Which, Overwatch <laughs> is really, really cool. Um, you've got the same, like, big, like, cyberpunk kind of characters, yeah. and you got snipers and brawlers and defenders, and it's the same goal. Everybody's looking to capture a point or resources or whatever, mm -hmm. and it's it looks awesome. Cool. It looks like Doom on the mobile platform. So here's or, another. I'm sorry, not Doom. Can't say Doom. Quake. Quake. Right. <laughs> Quake. Uh, Don't say Doom. <laughs> here's another game that will be making its entrance into the esports uh, yeah. world, but. And once again, you're watching and listening to Press Start TV. We're talking about eSports. My name's Will. This is Nine. This is Dr. <coughs> hey. Joe G. So, uh, Joey, tell us a little bit more about, in your opinion, eSports. I mean, where are we now? Where are we headed? Yeah, well, uh, eSports, you know, it's really picked up a lot of steam in the past, I would say, four years, really. Um, and I think it's finally gaining mainstream popularity, and I think it's getting that through media outlets like ESPN. Sure. And I think people are starting to actually... That makes me happy, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. people are starting to see that this is actually a legitimate sport, quote unquote. You, you know, some people have definitions of sport, not do, not a sport. Do you think the casual person will write that off? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, is, is it truly a sport? They're like, are you serious video well, games? Well, it's, it's, the, it's the old guard. It's the people that think of, you know, the, the romanticized men hitting each other as hard as they can <laughs> to get a I ball agree. 10 feet first, sure. 10 yards further than the other team. <laughs> sure, sure. That's what a sport That's should be. That's not sports yeah. to me. I don't yeah. know about you guys. Uh, <laughs> but no, video games, and I actually just wrote a book chapter about this, yeah. is that video games are certainly a sport by, you know, whatever definition you want to use. Yeah, you know? competition. That's how I look. Competition. There's physical skill, mental skill. Yep. I mean, those, those those actions per minute are insane. That these, play, oh, these yeah. professional. Sure. You know, I don't. And here's another one: athlete versus not athlete. These professional gamers will say because an athlete to me is a little different than a gamer. And, and I agree with that. Statement. Not all professional <laughs> sports. Competitors are athletes or right. athletic. You know, look at some golfers, look at some baseball players. Prince yeah. Fielder is not. There's really some athletic. pretty out of shape yeah. golfers out there. <laughs> That's a good example. Yeah, if you can, you know, smoke a cigarette while playing in your competition, maybe you're not an athlete. Exactly. Right. Um, so, so that's a different thing. But I think this is certainly a sport, and I think it's only one that's going to continue to grow um, with things like, you know, injuries and football and kids not playing that anymore. You, you always look to what the kids are playing, what the youth are playing, sure. to what's going to be happening in the future. Well, then a lot of professional Absolutely. gamers, their career is not long. No, it's not. I no. mean, you're talking, and is that because your ideal ref reflexes are at a certain age? Or is there that is some the research thinking? that is actually showing that, that you can actually get aged out by about 24, 25 years old, and you're getting passed by people that are younger Gosh, than that. Man. It's, it's and bad, they're retiring, dude. and they're, they're making good money, and you know they're becoming shoutcasters or other things working around the eSports right. scene a lot of times. Um, 
Um, so that's fun because that's where in traditional sports, quote unquote, you do that. You play the sport for a couple of years, you get a working knowledge of it, the inside knowledge, and you become a, a broadcaster. Dude, I'm so player. waiting for like 10 years from now when esports is like <laughs> just already well received. Yeah. Like, it's man, on national television. It, it, yeah. Well, it's, that, gonna be it's on, on TBS. But, but it's, it's going to yeah. be on national TV I'm this thinking, year with the CSGO. I'm thinking like, exactly. man, here's a veteran in our, in our sport. Man, this guy has been doing it for so long. I mean, he's I can't believe he's hanging in there with all these guys. He's 30 years old. <laughs> <laughs> it's the like, old Wiley that yeah, is 30 Brett years old. Brett Favre's of <laughs> video game competition are going to be in their 30s, not their 40s Yeah, 50s. they retire, they come back, they retire again, they can come back yeah. again. Change teams a few times. Yeah, so, you know, I, I hope it's here to stay. I hope it's legitimate. I hope, and I think it's gaining more money. I, I know it's gaining money. I know it's gaining yeah. more popularity well, it's, as well. It's, I just hope it's not a flash market. in the pan, kind of like poker was. You yeah. Know, look look yeah. a decade ago or something like that. I hope. And I don't think it will be, but I, and I really hope it's Well, right. and you got to look, too, the future of games is infinite. Right. Like, yeah. games will always be around and always changing. So eSports yeah. may be completely different in 10, 15 years from what it is today. Yeah, sure. With what games we're playing, technology, right. I mean, there's right. lots of different factors that yeah. the saw that. Anyway, um, wow, we could, we could go on forever. We could go about that. That's a we'll talk about that episode. a little bit more <laughs> later. Thank you for joining us today. We very much appreciate it. Check out PressStartTV.com for all information about us. Once again, thank you so much. Until next time, we'll see you. Later. Peace.